Good morning, Atlanta Coast High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. It's Monday, April 8th, and welcome to the Morning Rays. Today, Duval County will experience a partial solar eclipse. This event will be visible on a path across the entire continental United States. The partial solar eclipse will begin at 1.47 p.m. and last until 4.19 p.m., with maximum coverage being reached at 3.04 p.m. Safety is always a priority at ACHS. Students and staffs are instructed not to look at the sun or even the partially eclipsed sun without proper protective eyewear. At dismissal, students should go directly to their after-school transportation. There will be no outdoor solar eclipse activities on campus at ACHS during the solar eclipse today. Today is the first day of Autism Acceptance Week. Those who are wearing comfy clothes and sunglasses today are doing so for a good reason. Tomorrow is a rare opportunity to wear your favorite hat to school. On Wednesday, everyone is encouraged to wear tie-dye. On Thursday, represent your favorite team. And on Friday, some of our second period classes will be outside in the courtyard blowing bubbles to share the message of autism acceptance. Also on Friday, we will have the teachers versus students basketball game during fourth period. There's only so much space in the gym, so tickets are limited. They can be purchased for $4 on the GoFan app. Those who don't have tickets will remain in fourth period that day. Please keep in mind that this Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, students should find Miss Lakatos in the courtyard during lunch to validate their purchase tickets and receive a wristband. The wristband is the only way to get into the game this Friday. The dance for freshmen and sophomores that was scheduled for this Thursday has been canceled. Students who have purchased a ticket can see Miss Solomon in room 104 for a refund. Seniors, please submit a copy of your college acceptance or career letter to Mrs. Pryor in room 102 before the end of this week. While you're at it, don't forget about the National Decision Day breakfast coming up on May 3rd. If you'd like to attend this breakfast in your honor, please scan the code on the screen or click on the link in the bio of the Morning Rays Instagram to RSVP for this event. You have until Wednesday, April 10th to do that. We've got a couple accomplishments in athletics to tell you about. A few nights ago, Jacob Mobley scored the 100th goal of his high school lacrosse career, and Ben Brown set a new school record in the 1,600-meter run. His time of 4 minutes and 34 seconds was good for fourth place in the Gateway Conference track meet. He also finished fourth in the 3,200-meter run. Congratulations, Ben and Jacob. A couple of our art students were recently recognized in the Florida Junior Duck Stamp Competition. Valeria Perez won first place and Sofia Ramirez won second place. Congratulations! Speaking of art, the next National Art Honor Society meeting will be two weeks from today. That's Monday, April 22nd after school. We will be mulching our gardens for Earth Day. Those are all the announcements for today. Have a great day and go Stingrays!